world attention focuses on Georgetown, the elegant and spacious capital of British Guiana, as the British government takes action to halt the growth of communism in the country. At his residence, the governor, Sir Alfred Savage, here with his wife, directs the maintenance of law and order in the country, now that the constitution has been suspended. In the harbour, ships of Her Majesty's Navy ride at anchor, and Guianese children stare with wonder at this new sight. The frigate Burhead Bay assisted in rushing troops to the spot, among them the 1st Battalion, the Welsh Fusiliers, immediately the tense situation came to a head. Helping the governor in his task is Brigadier Jackson. Now he assists in the first major move since Prime Minister Jagan was relieved of power. Troops prepare for a raid on the headquarters of the People's Progressive Party, of which Jagan is the leader. Immediately they arrive, troops block all entrances to Regent Street as police move into the party building. At the same time, other forces are raiding the homes of all ministers of the sacked government. From the headquarters, papers and pamphlets are removed for closer scrutiny by police authorities, and a portrait of Stalin goes with them as evidence. The British government claims that such strict measures have been taken to forestall a threatened red-directed revolt in Guyana and names Dr. Jagan and his wife as among the ringleaders. Mrs. Jagan was born in America. Her 35-year-old husband is an Indian. These two, say the colonial office, have strengthened their links with Moscow since the doctor came to power and have used the People's Progressive Party to spread the communist doctrine through the British colony they adopted as their home.